Hey everyone, it's your girl Nimi2004, also known as Z Princess 28 As always, I hope this video finds you in great health and in good spirits. I wanted to start off by thanking all of my subscribers for your continued love and support. And a special thanks to those of you who commented on my video, Pregnancy and Hair. Um, a lot of you ladies left just wonderful, beautiful comments. Um, you know, just saying that you wished me well and you were sending up prayers and blessings on my behalf. Well, I do believe that prayer works. And thanks to all those wonderful prayers, um, I ended up giving birth to a healthy and beautiful baby boy. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. But I wanted to come at you today real quick and talk about Brazilian blowouts. Um, Brazilian blowouts is something that I just recently learned about. And I've had a couple of my subscribers sending me messages asking me, Deep Princess 28, what do you think of Brazilian blowouts? Should I get one? Um, my stylist told me that it's a good way to transition between relaxed to natural. So what do you think about it? Okay, so I'll be honest with you. Um, I just recently discovered Brazilian blowouts. I mean, I heard of it, but I thought it was just pretty much the same as a Dominican blowout. Because I know Dominican blowouts are when, are when women, ladies go to Dominican salons and get their hair just blown, blown out straight. Um, so I was just assuming a Brazilian blowout was the same thing, except for they just called it Brazilian because Brazilian women got it. But um, while I was pregnant, and I talked about this in my pregnancy and hair video, um, you know, aside from being very sick the first trimester, I was just extremely exhausted, and I didn't feel like doing much of anything to my hair. But there were times when I did want to rock a nice style. And you guys know I'm a do-it-yourselfer. So had I not been pregnant, had I not been tired, I probably wouldn't have gone to this salon anyway. But... Um, so that's how I was treating myself. And um, actually, while I was at one of the salons, it was a black-owned salon, uh, one of the stylists uh, introduced me to Brazilian blowouts. I uh, went there for to get my hair. I told her I just wanted a wash, deep condition, and a flat iron. And she said, well, um, have you ever heard of a Brazilian blowout? And I said, um, you know, I heard of it, but I didn't know what it was. And she said, well, basically, um, it is a conditioning treatment that will make your curls looser. Now, I kind of took offense to that because... You know, a lot of times if I come to a shop or, you know, some, a lot of times people just assume because I have curly hair that I want it straight. And although I do like to straighten my hair from time to time, the last thing I want is for my curls to be looser. In fact, those of you who have been following me know that after suffering from heat damage, I wanted my curls to be tighter. So why she automatically assumed that I wanted looser curls, I have no idea. But anyway, she was like, oh, well, it'll make your curls looser and it'll make it easier for you to straighten your hair. She said, since you, you know, obviously you like to wear your hair straight sometimes, it'll make it easier for your hair to get straight when you straighten it on your own. Because she mentioned that it would make my curls looser and then it would make it easier for me to straighten my hair um, from that point forward, I just assumed that it was a chemical. So I asked her, I said, is this a chemical process? And she said, no, it's just a conditioning treatment. So then she gave me a piece of paper that just basically explained the benefits of getting the Brazilian blowout. And she said, here, look it over. And the paper basically explained how it was a conditioning treatment um, used to straighten the hair. It made the hair lie flat. Uh, like she had mentioned, it said that it will make it easier for you to straighten your hair um, from that point forward. And the paper also said that it would last for six months. So again, I'm thinking, I don't know anything that's going to alter your hair for like six months unless it's a chemical, right? But she's saying all the while it's not a chemical. Well, thank God that I'm not the type of person to make rash decisions about my hair, like ever. So I definitely wasn't going to get some new treatment that I barely knew anything about you know, just on the fly at the salon. So I said, you know, I appreciate you showing me this information, but I'm just going to go ahead and get my wash, deep condition, and flat iron. And so actually, the and the stylist said, well, that's fine. She said, because had you wanted this, we would have had to prep your hair for it anyway. And at that point, I had already been shampooed, and I was sitting under the dryer. So I thought she was going to try to do this treatment at that point. But she said, we couldn't, we couldn't do it now. We would have to have put the treatment on while we were washing and conditioning your hair. And I'm like, okay. She said, well, I'm going to be styling this other young lady over here so you can watch and see how her hair turns out and it might be something you're interested in well now mind you remember she said it was no chemical or anything like that well while she's like blowing out this woman's hair she's wearing a surgical mask and the woman's wearing a surgical mask too and there are fumes like flying everywhere so again i'm like okay if this is not a chemical process why are you practically wearing a gas mask and your client's wearing one and there's fumes flying everywhere so needless to say I'm glad I just got my hair pressed I mean flat ironed and walked out the salon now I kid you not it had to have been maybe I think it was probably a month or so later or shortly after that point 
um, the news. I was watching my local news and they did an expose on Brazilian blowouts. And they were saying, sure enough, that salons were basically uh, promoting this treatment as something that's all natural. When in fact, I guess scientists went ahead and did some research on it. And they said that whatever the conditioning treatment that is used in the Brazilian blowouts, it contains formaldehyde. And formaldehyde is known to cause cancer. So the researchers are basically saying that although stylists and salons are saying that it's an all natural process, it really isn't, which isn't shocking to me because, like I said, I don't know anything that's going to alter your hair or change your curl pattern and definitely not last for six months unless it's there's something going on. But um, n needless to say, even if it wasn't doing that, just the fact that it has a cancer causing agent in it, which you know, a lot of products I'm sure do, but um. After witnessing the way the stylist had to wear the surgical mask and the client had to wear one and then seeing that expose, that's definitely something that I would not um, be interested in getting done for myself. I wouldn't advise other ladies get it because, like I said, I've had subscribers ask me, the Princess 28, do you think I should use this as a way to transition? And I've said, I said it before and I'll say it again. If you want to transition from relaxed to natural, I don't feel like you need an intermediary process. Like, you don't need to texturize your hair or text lax. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then do it. But I'm saying, if you want to just go natural, all you need to do is stop getting relaxer. That's it. So, ladies, that's it. That's all I have to say about Brazilian blowouts. Um, you know, you can Google it to learn more information, but that was just my experience, my introduction to the whole concept of a Brazilian blowout. Okay, with that, peace, love, and I will see you next time.